different though because if you heard him, he said he doesn't even say those words around. He only says those words around his friends. Oh. And those Here random people <laughs> would not be really his never friends. Heard him say now, that. I've never heard What's the deal, y'all? It's your man, No Malice, and you are tuned into Track Stars Radio. That's what it is. Yeah, back in the field with the Track Stars, Ryan Wright, Shantana, DJ Jeremiah. I, 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 oh, my bad. I'm not used to being here. <laughs> <laughs> yo, real talk, I was like, yo, who's talking? <laughs> All right, for all things Track Stars, go to www.trackstars.com. Uh, like us on the Facebook page. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Track Stars, Instagram at Track Stars, and download the app. All right, cool. Um, <laughs> so I don't know if everybody actually did the homework for this, but um, uh, so the Drake album just came out. Yeah. Uh, all right. And um, did you did you hear? It? Yeah, yeah. You heard? Yeah. Did you? Not, I had that face on. I, I, doubt, had that face I doubt Ryan heard didn't. it. I know y'all didn't. You're hearing time. baby right now. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, we wanted to kind of talk about it because it is talk? it is a big cultural moment. Um, just just um, how do you feel? What do you think about it? And what do you think it means? First of all, the reason why you need to know is because half of the music that's going to come out from now on is going to sound like this. <laughs> Everybody bases their stuff off of what Drake does. If so. a Christian rapper can get 40 to produce a record for you, you'll be out of here. All right. So uh, <laughs> that's besides the point. But I think it reminded me of a little bit of Take Care and Thank Me Later, mm-hmm. where it was like it, it didn't have that pop, pop record record, but it did have a lot of... R&B record, you know what I mean? That's I, that's I be R&B. So, yeah. so here's my thing. I, I didn't care nothing about what he was talking about. Yeah, I know. That's I think I think Pusha T kind of ruined this album. <laughs> you because, think so? Because as soon as he started talking like, "Yo, I'm this and this and that," I'm like, "No, you're not." <laughs> Don't, Don't do that. that no, I'm just saying he ru- he ruined it. He wait, ruined, wait. He ruined the surprise of the sun. He ruined the the machismo because he l- lost. Like he he. Push so you can, ruin so you that loss is debatable. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on. Don't tell the Drake. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> How did you think about Jay Z after Ether? Did you think the same? But that wasn't the last song in the thing. He no, at least came back. He came back, but it wasn't as strong as Ether. People still thought Nas nah, yeah, beat it, but, Jay. But at least he came back. Yeah, I Jay get didn't that. Come back at all? No, I get that. But what I'm saying is, he couldn't what, come back. His OG told him not to. Now I don't know what that means, but <laughs> but his sponsor told him not to. But that's true. <laughs> no, that's but, true. No, but what I'm saying is, how did you look at Jay Z with the consistency? The people say, Yo, Nas was the winner of that situation. Was you looking at? Was you listening to Blueprint too? Like, you ain't that dude no more. You ain't that guy. Or was you? It didn't affect me. Man, I was I was also like 14. I didn't really oh, okay, care. okay. But, <laughs> yeah, I didn't really. Yeah, you just pick your fate. But what I'm saying is, is that it wasn't just that. I mean, honestly, I don't. I mean, everybody. I don't really listen to music like that, right? I listen to something once and I'm done with it. Yeah. Um. So I'm a little bit different. I just when I was listening, I was just like, man, I just don't care about none of this. Like because you know, it's like when your movie gets spoiled. Pusha T like ruined this movie. You see what I'm saying? Like you he think so? he told the ending of the movie. Like the whole point of this album was about unveiling the sun. Yeah. He spoiled it. Not all of it. Not all of it. What, what else is it about? He talked about, um, you know, getting rid of people and killing them. Um, <laughs> he ta- no, he did. He did. He talked about that. So you I'm, think he's an accessory to ex-murder? That's what I he don't about. know anything. That's what you all said. I know is he said, we exchanged Louis bags for body bags. That's all I know wow. that was said. I don't know anything else. And my sister is calling. Um, <laughs> but I, outside of that, she that's, said, don't that's say a that. nice bar. It's what? a disrespectful bar, but it was what? a nice bar. That's like a nice bar. I don't know, man. Like, okay, he said he had mob ties, and I didn't really think about that at all until um, I heard about the Jay Prince situation. I don't know what's going on with him. I'm not saying anybody's a part of anything. Um, but at the same time, like, I thought he had some really good tracks on here. Now, there were some skippable joints, right? Yeah, it was. It was. Some, was some, some stuff was joints. skippable. Like, I, I didn't like the whole, like, like anything situation? that kind of sounded Migo-ish, I kind of was like, okay, I'm good. But when he's rapping, I'm like, yo. Drake is still so to me, to me, the theme around. of this album was his son and how he feels like it's changed his life and all that kind of stuff. What do you think about that? Do you think that um, that it was having plan. a kid? I mean, this is where you could jump in. <laughs> this, have, do y'all have kids at all? Yeah, 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 I got two. You got two. So having kids, does it change? Because are are you expecting to see a change in Drake and some of the content? Because honestly, the first thing that stood out to me was the God's Plan song. He's like, only thing I love is my bed and my mama. That's pre pre sorry. Yeah, but, but it's not true. Before he pushed, that she was, got pushed. That's why he was still. That's why he was, when you still hiding in this situation, right? 
Does it change you? It changes the perspective. <laughs> That's a of, double entendre. Yeah, it changes the perspective of what you want people to think of or you want them to think about you if you're not doing something that you're proud of. But see, I'm proud of most of the things that I, every, everything I do. <laughs> so so most, my most children, every, yeah, most. yeah. <laughs> there, there's some YouTube videos I hope my, ch- my children don't see. Um, you know, because I've said some things in the, the past. The Ryan Shake? They don't uh, no, mainly I don't want them to know that their uh, their Uncle EJ uh, put out the drought. You know oh, what I mean? Like that's, dang, that's, that's we calling him out. That. Uncle EJ. Well, nobody, know, nobody knows who I'm EJ okay is, okay with that. Though, so. And I stand behind what I said during the drought. <laughs> you know, if you haven't heard it, go you listen explain to it. to our guests yeah, what the yeah, drought well, is Yeah, I've got a problem explaining Hey, hey, he's been really yeah. free since we found out a new target. He's like... Woo! <laughs> drought, baby. <laughs> no, that was just a period of time when, when women go through. Uh, not just women, right? But <coughs> no, what? you just said women. Man. Whatever. Yo, Man, I don't. Do have y'all to... have like Q words, like you know, words is like yeah, don't say that. Oh yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. Apparently, <laughs> apparently this is one of them. No, the drought is this thing that I, that that most people it happens, man. So like, there's a, a period of time where a lot of like you're interacting and women are interacting with a lot of guys, right? Yeah. There's a period of time when that's happening, and then there's a period of time after college and all the kind of stuff you go to work and you don't have that same interaction, right? Yeah. Now, if you like really met, not, I'm not, if you haven't taken full advantage of that time when you were with a whole bunch of people, stop looking at me like that. <laughs> <laughs> where is this going? <laughs> exactly I'm just saying, happened. if you haven't taken full advantage of that time, right? And there's a bunch of, bunch of guys who are really good guys and you just kind of shoot them off right just waiting for like better and you had a list and you were kind of going according to that list right yeah. and you messed up at that time then there's this period of time where you could be in drought for a situation a long period of time because yeah. there's not you're not interested last with time a lot it of was guys. just a picture this so, time it's so a video. anyway that's that's <laughs> what that's, yeah that's true, that's true. <laughs> what you talking about that's the kind of stuff you may be embarrassed about when you have a kid right. is that yeah, where yeah, you're yeah, going yeah. Right. i'm not so, embarrassed about this like like so, like <clears throat> Dating, like remember his dating? dating. <laughs> like that, dating. Like I'm not good at I'm, proud I'm, of that. I'm still proud of that. Very proud of that. Anyway, Christian girls are infected. Because it, proud was of that? Out of, it was taken out. It was taken out of content. We got, we got 12 years what of content. Is, oh, <laughs> what is that? It was taken is that the out new of movie, content. Twelve years of content. <laughs> Yo, well here, here, here's my thing. Um, uh, first and foremost, shouts out to my kids, Jay Twice and Jalea. Um, Jay but, Twice. Yeah, so my son is a junior. Okay, uh, right. so I that's call him, dope. Yeah, Jay so twice. I call him Jay yeah. twice. Oh, uh, Jay squared. Yeah, no, <laughs> Jay twice. <man. laughs> nah, if I'm a son, he's three. three. I like kind of yeah. disrespectful. Yeah. Oh, and my wife Kia. <laughs> but my thing is, I think it matters who I think it matters who you are when kids change your perception, right? So I have kids. And things that I did back in the day, people will see me different because I have kids, right? I didn't do nothing. I just wanted to sound tough. But anyway, (laughs) (laughs) but you think about it. Did having kids change the perception of Snoop? Did having Mm. kids change the perception perception of Nelly? He was in the club. It was too hot and getting women to take the clothes off. That's right. But he had kids. That's right. Jay-Z's a little different. J- now well, he gives a lot of advice about he, money he and stuff. Does. <laughs> yeah. He's he different does. Now. But see, he changed that perception. He right. changed his content. Right. I'm talking about these Jay-Z other rappers. Jay Z changed because he got busted. Well, if he wouldn't get busted. Jay Z yeah. probably be the same person. Hey, but he, he got busted. He never so Magna Carter was 2012, and Blue Ivy was thought how old by that time? She was like a, a, a baby. Zero. Yeah. 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 So zero. I mean, yeah. I mean, I think him getting. Him cheating on Beyonce and right. realizing like I could lose all this yeah. made him change versus just being you, you mean know, him married. getting caught for right. cheating yeah, on Beyonce. That's what I'm saying. But the mm. thing is, is that he still changed his content. And so our perception of somebody that keeps the same content after they do have children doesn't change the perception of that person. Mm-hmm. Now in Drake's case, it's a little bit different because of what happened with the Pusher situation. Yeah. So everybody went in like yeah, whatever he talking about, it ain't, you know, it's not what it is because of what Pusha said. Yeah. But had that situation never happened and he did reveal his son, we would still think of Drake as being yeah. Drake. That's yeah. what Sounds I'm saying. Like I think, that's, what, that's what I was saying. <laughs> I think Pusha T ruined this album because he spoiled the ending of it. He he spoiled his um his kind of like his um his rep. He was trying to build up a reputation before he unveiled his son. The nice for what video, God's plan, giving away money. He was trying to build up this good guy thing. So then yeah. he when he's like, and here's my kid. Drake said he and didn't hide his kid from the world. <laughs> tell him, <laughs> tell him, tell him. <laughs> and, 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 and the reason why I know Pusha T um ruined it because he clearly wrote that afterwards. I guarantee yeah. he changed a bunch yeah, of stuff yeah. on this album yeah. after that Pusha T situation. He clearly wrote that after. He clearly wrote the intro after. But you don't even think Pusha T joint was that tough. I don't, but he still ruined his album. Yeah. I say, I, I say for the fan, but I, he's still breaking records and stuff, though. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, I think he may have, Pusha T may have won that 
war, but I think Drake will, overall will win. Drake Drake could have farted on this album <coughs> and people would have bought it. Like, hey, they they would buy whatever he Kanye puts out. West Riders. did the whoopity scoop joint, and yeah. you know what I'm saying, and people loved it. Yo, yeah. I can't front with y'all. Like, it didn't kill Emotionless for me because that's one of the songs where he's actually talking about his son, right? It didn't kill Emotionless for me. The fact that I already knew, but um, if if I didn't know, it there would have been, been a little bit more intrigue. Yeah, it would have been connection. it, it would have been a little bit more like. What is he talking about? Yeah. Is he really saying that the he has slow a son? Unveil. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Would yeah. y'all have called Drake a deadbeat dad? Say that again? Would you have called Drake a deadbeat right. dad? No. Based on no. Pusha, I would. Pre-Pusha. Right. Pre- no. no. So, based on Because if I would have heard this, and I'm like, oh, he don't get along with his mother. Is he seeing the kid? Or is this just hip-hop Wait, music? Wait, you're not... I, okay, here's my thing. Gotcha. If 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 it wasn't for Pusha, I wouldn't have knew about the kid. Yeah. Right. Right. This is the Sean's point. So I wouldn't have knew about the kid if it wasn't for Pusha T. I wouldn't have had an opinion at all. Right. Mm-hmm. I would have just listened and been like, Oh, is he saying he has a son that I don't know about? That's crazy. I didn't know he had a son. Right. That would be his unveil. He would be controlling the story. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Now that he's not controlling the story, now I I have a different perspective. Now I'm really trying to figure out how involved are you in this kid's life. Here's a question. If you had a testimony like this, would you want this? Would you want somebody else to ruin your testimony? Like if you was about to go out and tell some, tell your testimony to the story, but the, the person before you was like, you know, such and such coming up and he got a baby on the way, and you'd be like, <laughs> a testimony? What? what <laughs> no, I'm talking about like telling the church your testimony of your life. Like let's right. say you, like something like that. Is this the equivalent to Are that? You making money off your testimony? Like, no, I'm just saying like you're about to. Exp- you're a big time personality. <laughs> yeah. In the Christian world, yeah. if we bringing this to the Christian world. And people were like, yo, we haven't heard from this person for a long period of time. Or, you know what I mean? We haven't heard. And then, like, right before you about to, like, okay, I'm about to share it to everybody. Somebody before you comes up and be like, yo, y'all know such and such. He ain't living right. So, you know, he got a baby on the way. And then you about to come out and you like, oh, snap. You know what I mean? Like, is it you that? You got to confess to the church. Yeah, almost. Basically. Before like, you step like up. Like a pastor would. Yeah. But then somebody but else. Somebody else like, but here's the thing even though i I feel like what pusha t did was the equivalent to a trailer to me does that make sense (laughs) now it's a trailer that's way too detailed but at the same time it's a trailer because even though the you understand what will happen i don't know the details right and i feel like drake's album kind of serves as the details to kind of help you fill out the story so did pusha t help drake sell more units basically um no, no. <laughs> because in my instance because you know the album already went like multi platinum it was gonna drop. do that whether they'll push it or Drake. not right yeah it's Drake. yeah it was it was gonna yeah. be straight <laughs> either way and i think that's what sean was saying yeah. it's gonna be straight either way right yeah. um but at the same time i don't think he helped them sell more albums because mm-hmm. we knew that there would be no rebuttal now if there was like if he said the rebuttal will be on scorpion right then that would have went out the that would have been yeah. crazy yeah. everybody would have brought that does that make sense? Yeah. Everybody would have got that. Um, but outside of that, I, I felt like he did the numbers he was gonna do regardless of the situation. I don't think it helped or hurt him. So so the reason I, the only reason I care about Drake's album coming out is the fact that so many artists, Christian and not, are gonna soak this in and then you're gonna hear Drake's album for like another ten years. And was it was it that different from any other project he's already yeah, done? Because he didn't reveal a new style to me. Yeah. And and I don't feel like if, if you've already been influenced by Drake, I think that influence will stick around. But I didn't feel like there was any new thing. Like you remember when he started doing the Jamaican thing? I knew that would be a little bit of a thing, right? But in this case he's like not doing but there, anything. There's, crazy. Th- there's decisions he made that I feel like you may see again talk to me the, the a side b side remember that was something we were thinking about doing for wonder years and we killed it yeah. a side b side on a digital album is is yeah, kind of yeah, new yeah. right um the fact that you know one side hip-hop one side singing like i'm i feel like you're gonna start seeing some of those things pop back okay up. okay you know what i'm saying so announcing theme. your album on your clothes i mean just like little things he decided to do that's the stuff that people are paying attention to that you're gonna see again and again. Well, I think it's already. I mean, I think it's already happening in Christian hip hop. I mean, let's you know what I'm saying. Let's just talk about it. We, everybody has a series type project now, right? Um, first time I heard about it, Derek Minor said he had four parts that he was gonna release. Now we have Indy Minio releasing four parts. Stephen Malcolm, if I'm not mistaken, I heard that that's going to be four parts. So um, just different things like that. And where is that coming from, you say? Where is what coming the from? The four-part thing. The uh, first person I heard it from was Derek Minor. First, okay, First gotcha, big gotcha. person anyways to do it. Now, a lot of people saying, oh, well, he grabbed it, you know, from the mainstream or whatever the case is. But I think that when you see something hit, when people get excited about it, you kind of say, hmm, 
I can do that. So I think that you're right. They're going to soak up the A-side, B-side, but isn't Ty Brazzo already doing an A-side, B-side, if I'm not mistaken? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah, I've, so. I've heard that before, yeah. Yeah, so, um, I mean, it is going to get soaked up, but I think in Christian hip-hop, what we're going to see is more series-themed projects. Um, this is, um, outside of this, this is a question I have, right? Um, mm-hmm. Just like as a fan of what you guys do. Yeah. Um, have you seen any um, any influences that went from Christianity or, or CHH to the world? So I, in my mind, the first thing that comes to my mind is that I see all these CHH artists releasing um, six-track EPs, seven-track EPs, and now on the flip side, that's a new thing, right? For mm-hmm. for like, um, what is that, good music? Kanye. Yeah, like for yeah. Kanye and stuff like that. Yeah. Do you think that's, that's influenced through that? <laughs> I don't think so. I think the fact of the matter is people are understanding that our attention span is shot. Like he said, he'll listen to a project once, and that's the end of it. Um, people will go through... You skip through a lot of joints, like you say, but if the project is on I only six, skipped it because it was skippable. Okay, okay, well, okay, skippable. But the fact of the matter is, if the joint like uh, Kanye's new project, Yeda, came out, if it's only seven tracks, you're going to listen to the entire thing. True. You know, it's not like when we were coming up, if the project was 18 songs, you just want to hurry up and get to the end or get to the songs that you think is hot. Listen to the beat. If it didn't catch you within five seconds, you skipped it. You know, you don't do that now with the shorter projects. I just think people understand that. Well, I think I think what I said is a little different. And I, I recommend a lot of people do this. The reason I don't soak up music constantly <clears throat> is because I, I went on a year without music. Right. Do you all remember me talking about this when I was younger? I, I took a whole year off of music, period, because I felt like it was influencing me more than I wanted it to. So I took a year off. No music, not nothing. Gospel, nothing. And just started evaluating my thoughts. When I started listening to it again, it had no power, none. So I don't sit there and soak up music right. anymore because it doesn't do nothing for me. You see what I'm saying? No, so I, th- it's, I, I recommend it if you right. feel like you're struggling. Like even like when we talk about these secular artists, you're like you shouldn't be listening to that. I understand why. But if you are already listening to it, try to see if you could go without it for a while and see if anything about you changes. How long ago was that? Maybe first year of college, last year of high school. Okay, so it's so ten years. Tell me really how old you are. Got it. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> no, no. But the reason why. <laughs> the only re- no, the only reason why I even asked that question is because now music is everywhere. Depending on how how long ago that was, music is is everywhere. Like in what we do, there's no way to take a year off from music, right? Because you're not gonna have, you're not gonna be able to talk about yeah, what no you need to talk about. And, yeah. and when I when I mean that, I, I don't mean off of music for. Uh, that's not my recommendation. I'm talking about secular music. Oh, Try okay. to take a break okay. from it. Okay. And see if you still it. feel the same. But again, mm-hmm. that that was gonna be my other part. When you in the malls, you're gonna hear the hot song. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? When you're the at the carnivals, the barbershop, you know, the, sure. any, anything, any, uh, your 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 children's school dance. You know, yeah. You're, yeah. I didn't have to watch watch me whip and watch me nay nay. I didn't have to listen to that. Because everything that my children went to, that song was playing. That's yeah. true. That's yeah. how I knew it. So I think it'll be a little bit more difficult. And I, my recommendation is more so just the the meditating on music. Yeah. And even some of our Christian artists, it's like, um, you don't know what, <laughs> I mean, like, we don't know what anybody's dealing with, right? Yeah. So just meditating on somebody else's thoughts over and over and over again. I don't know if it's healthy for anybody to constantly meditate on somebody else's words and over and over again if it ain't the Bible. You see what yes, I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So just just be careful because you may not realize how much it's affecting you mm-hmm. um, until it's too late. I think that that's what a lot of people are mad at right now with uh, just with the situation. Um, you know, we all heard about the Jay Given situation, whatever. But a lot of people are upset because of how much they consumed his music. Mm. And, you know, you could take that for, for whatever you want to, but with you saying that, that just made me think. I think that that's the reason so many people are upset. Now, we have a lot of people doing, as we talked earlier, what, they're, what they shouldn't do. They don't know this man personally. Jackie Hill speaking to him, perfect. Yeah, you know, yeah, they had a working yeah. relationship. They had, you know, they were close, different things like that. Uh, John Gibbs talking to him, that's his cousin. You know what I mean? That's cool. But well, I think a lot... Sure. Well, <laughs> they say... <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> That's neither here nor there. I'm talking just in a personal situation. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. But uh, the fact of the matter is, I think a lot of people are more upset because they did consume his music and didn't know. But it's, that's, that's what I mean. Like, just, just anybody, listen to anybody. When you start to soak up what somebody says constantly, you make an idol out of them in a lot of ways, even a yeah. Christian yeah. artist. Yep. So you just got to be careful because if, like, we experienced it at church, right? Our pastor who... Because they have a whole show on him. Um, <laughs> our old pastor, a lot of people looked up to him. Yeah. Right? This is like 
is, is everything to me. Like I do what I do because I see him doing it yeah, type, right. type thing. And when he falls, yeah. there's a lot of other people were like, well, dang, if he can't do it, then I can't do it. Yeah. If he's fake, then I would you know, like they base their whole life on yeah. somebody else. So to me, that goes across the board. You shouldn't idolize none of these yeah, people. Nah. None of them. But it's hard not to when he said, like, like he said, your dollar, your personal dollar, you know. My personal your, dollar. Your, yeah. Including us. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's real. Us. yeah that's seriously. Real. That's like real. I, I really mean that. Like yeah. I, I know that hurts business or whatever. But like my including album. us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> including Rick and Sid. Don't, Especially all the cursing that's on it. Don't <laughs> listen to it. Don't <laughs> idolize him. Yeah. It's not worth it. Hey, <laughs> real, yeah. hey yeah. real talk. Real talk, I had to pull myself out of it. Um, in 2011, you I went. Your album was coming out. <laughs> in, 2000, in 2011, I went to YouTube and did a whole. Because in 2011, you can only put up nine minute videos. I don't know if y'all remember that. Yeah. But yeah. Um, I put up a whole two part uh, series of me defending Lecrae, like sitting, defending biblically what Lecrae was doing. Um, and I had to come to myself, like, yo. I'm spending way too much time, energy on wow. this. Like I'm paying more attention to him than what I am you reading was my the Bible. Original look crazy. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. I was a little crazy. Like real talk, real Have you talk. Ever met him? Crazy. Um, I've I've met. Him. I haven't like really had a decent conversation with him, but in 2011, um, he was like greets. signing the mm-hmm. meet and greet, but we had a quick conversation. He was my first interview and for I, Track Stars. Okay, okay. And I, I would yeah, say nah, even for the like even that. for the artists, as an artist, you have to make sure that people aren't idolizing yep. you. Point, That's true. Point them. Point that energy away from you. Like deflect that joint. Yeah. Because if people are really just following yeah. you because they love you so much, you're this, this, you're wasting their time. Yeah, because like, when you, you fall, you need to rap. be like like the Wonder again, Woman Joe Shield. Joe. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And don't but sign that, autographs. They Every piece of fandom that you see coming your yeah. direction, you got to deflect that joint. But they try that though. I I, th- I think they do. I mean, Lecrae even said in his song. I'm not the one you should be following. That should be your your pastor, your preacher, or whatever the case is. And I think not on one side, but yeah, but yeah. he's saying don't the take my story. music as. <laughs> <laughs> but I think he's saying I think he's saying don't take my music as doctrine, as as like really learning and and trying to grow through my music. Because I think. because I want to do this topic next week. If we no, well, no maybe not next week. We'll talk about that. <laughs> um, but I want to do this topic soon because I think a lot of people. And I'll just ask this, and we'll talk about it in the future. How much of what you do as a Christian is based off of what you're afraid other Christians will say about you versus what you think God would care about. Wow. How, how much of what, yeah. how many of the words you use, your behaviors, what you wear, how much of that is based on what other people are going to think versus what God is going to think. And there's two warnings. Should you be doing those things even <laughs> when you're by yourself? And should you be living for other people instead of God? Period. That's right. Wow. And I think a lot of what we do, I'll t- like, there's words that I won't mm-hmm. say here that yep. I'll say with my friends. Yep. Damn, you can have friends. You, Whoa! Can- <laughs> you caught that? These two are mad sensitive. No, you caught that? You see nah, that? I see what you're saying. He's talking about his church on friends. The on the show. You caught that? I won't say them on the show. show. Okay, okay. Come on. You caught that? Okay. <laughs> Uh, no, you didn't. <laughs> but no, you're no, talking about no, his work no, no, friends. No, 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 it didn't affect me because he said something Wait, on the call the other day. He said, "He said I say a word around my friends on the call, but I won't say them around certain people." And we know that he didn't say that word around us. <laughs> no, no, no. Uh, y- y'all losing what I'm saying. There are certain things that you will say around certain people. Certain yeah. things you will say around other yeah. people. Certain things you will do around certain people. And what I'm saying is evaluate what those things are because my artist one all the time now. Say what now? I said, you keep beating my artist statement all the time. Now. Yeah. Like, go ahead. Go ahead. I don't know it's where good. y'all are going. <laughs> he was like, it's good to have some artists in the building. Huh? And he was like, when he said, it's good to have artists in the building. Yeah, I understand and, what yeah. you're talking about. <laughs> but I ain't do nothing what y'all saying. All I'm saying is, y'all know the words I'm talking about. Yeah. I'll say the H word. I say the H word, y'all. I do. You've never said uh, it around me. I'm yes, I have. Y'all no, no, yes, I have. Yes, I have. You I say the, the H word. Moment. Hey man, I it's do. the only word when you use the video. Say, I won't us. say here. <laughs> oh, for real? <laughs> I won't you, say. You've never said that word around. As soon as I was on track of stars, and guess what I found out? Sean says the H word. Listen to me. Listen to me. I won't say here because I love you guys. Rock that second word because that's what I'm waiting for. 
the N word. There we go. Yeah. <laughs> but it you does. know what? It does. Hey, hey, I so lie. you can do a seven. What? Like, it but, does. Yeah, exactly. Wait, wait, you wait, can wait, do wait, a seven. In extreme that's, situations. <laughs> but that's what I won't say that in front but of you. No. But that's what I was actually going we to lose get to. We're losing sponsors. I, yeah, I don't care. Sean is stretching, y'all. I just want you to know that. That's not true. That's what I was going to lead to. I've had personal conversations with people in the industry. And what they say surprises me because that's not what comes out. Um, but somebody like a seven, I can respect because what he says in his music, he's he gonna say two. So, so the, the point of me saying that is, just because I wouldn't, is, I'm not saying it's right, and maybe I shouldn't say those words at all. Period. Mm-hmm. But also, how much of what you do is because you're afraid of what yes. other people are yeah. gonna say yes. versus yeah. what you're afraid Jesus yeah. go, is gonna think. That's we real. need to make sure we realign ourselves to. Should I say this word not just because I'm afraid what they're gonna say? Right. Should I be more afraid of what Jesus is gonna say? Yeah. Because Yo, there's, yeah. there's like I, I tweeted yeah. this. There's no jury at the final judgment. Did Jesus yeah. not like the N word? I don't mm. know, man. I, 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 I just love. How, <laughs> I, I just love how this Drake topic <laughs> took us to this. This is great. Though. But I, I think that's it. That's I all I want to know. Push yeah, it. I like to see that topic. <laughs> so I'm not saying I'm not Probably saying you should say Batman. the H word or the N word. <laughs> yeah. I'm just saying that. The only reason I don't say it here is because I'm afraid for y'all. Yeah. I'm afraid of what y'all are going to think. I'm afraid that I don't want to influence anybody yeah. else. But it doesn't mean that I should say it any other time. I'm just saying that's the only reason I don't say it here. But isn't that that's, kind the, of, that's the reason. Isn't that kind of touchy? Because, say, if you ran into a fan, right, and you were just having a normal conversation, mm-hmm. and that came out, well, the view that they have of watching you, yeah. and then what they actually see, that's going to kind of mess it up. This is the reason why when I do mine, I, I talk how I would talk in Regular. person. It's right. different though because if you heard him, he said he doesn't even say those words around. He only says those words around his friends. Go, oh. And those there random go, people dude. would See, that's, not that's be his never friends. Heard him say, now, I've never heard Sean I've say the heard. N-word. Right. I, at okay. least I don't remember it. That's so he's very, oh. and he's very right. good at it that's apparently. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Those fans will never hear Sean say Y'all let it go. Just let it go. He's gonna just let it go. I knew what you were saying, man. Just let it go. I'm just saying those fans will be fine. That's all I'm saying. If you're looking for some replacements for Track yeah, yeah, um, yeah. I'm gonna have to have a conversation after this. So. <laughs> but, but you see what I'm saying? So, my, don't lose my yeah. point. I'm not saying yeah. it's okay to say those words. I'm just saying that we need to reevaluate why we do things certain exactly. times, why we do things other times, including listening to secular music. Yeah. Don't do it. Be, don't not do it or not curse just because you're afraid of what other people are gonna say. Realign that worry to what Jesus is gonna yeah. think. Should you say it? Period. Should yeah. you listen? Period. That's that's my point. Yeah. Amen. I'm with it. All right, man, let's get back into it. You in the field with the track stars, Ryan Wright, Sean Tanner, DJ Jeremiah. Let up. Hey, guys, Miracle here. Thank you so much for watching that episode. Make sure you go below, like it, subscribe, click the bell, and make sure you follow us on all forms of our social media. Also, check out our website and be sure you spread the word. We'll see you next time. We know not what we doing Screw that, they know, let them have it, do it Okay, I'm around and prove it Never mind, got a mind that'll wind up with me In a lineup behind bars with these bars Okay, my time uh, Team Freedom, Yeah, we not through yet All right. Track Stars Music presents Turn my volume up, turn me off